All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right. Excellence. Welcome to another episode of me eating hot dogs. So today we have a first, actually two firsts, we're going to be doing today around our tasting. We'll be eating a hot dog that is one in a natural casing. I haven't done that yet. Or I will be eating it, not you. You will be watching me eat it. And two, we'll be eating, or no, two, uh, we'll be, I'll be eating a hot dog that is called uncured. I'm using finger quotes because it's a controversial uncured. It's not really true, even though they get to say it, which is kind of crazy. Let me go over it for you before we jump into the tasting because it's an interesting controversy. So curing is the process of preserving meat using um, salt and later on using nitrates. That's what we use now in all modern stuff because um, when you go and uh, you have no refrigeration, you need a way to be able to enjoy your... Uh, you need a way to enjoy your food later on without being dead from botulism and things like that. And so here's the thing. Um, somewhere around 1979, something like that, 79, uh, uh, MIT published a paper saying that if you feed nitrate to rats or mice, I don't know what they were exactly, um, they died of tumors and, uh, and cancer, cancer tumors. And so, uh, so that kind of snowballed this, uh, this opinion that nitrates are bad. And uh, most, uh, most foods um, that, uh, you know, luncheon meats and, and bacons and hams and uh, pastrami and all these other things and hot dogs, they use nitrates to preserve themselves because, um, uh, you know, you're just better, better safe than sorry. It's, uh, and uh, the reality is that things like hot dogs were... were you know, serve from a, from a cart or something. You wanted in the turn of the century when there was no refrigeration, you wanted to make sure that everyone was not being dead, that all your customers came back again. Um, Nathan's, by the way, uh, had a cart. Um, and when he first started, he hired people to look like doctors to eat their, his food so to make sure that uh, it wasn't, you know, that it made people feel like they were eating something because uh, that it was safe because the doctors were eating it. Okay, I, 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 I whatever. All right, let, let's move on. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, a hot dog. Hot dog's got something like 32 parts per million of nitrate. Um, I mean, if you cut the hot dog up in a million pieces, there are 32 pieces of nitrate flo flo floating around in there. Now, when I say nitrates, I might mean whatever, sodium nitrate or uh, sodium nitrite, but we'll just say nitrate. It's floating around in there. If you take a piece of celery, here, here's the controversy. It's kind of, here, here it is. Here's the clue. Here's the weird thing. If you take a piece of celery, a piece of celery will have 1,500, 1,500 parts per million of nitrates. If there's more nitrate in a vegetable, uh, a green vegetable like spinach or lettuce or celery, than there is in a hot dog. So a celery, a piece of celery, has more nitrate than a hot dog does. So here's what the geniuses, the absolute geniuses did in, uh, I guess, uh, in these, uh, in these food, uh, processed food manufacturers did. It was, it, was, uh, it was kind of ingenious. What they did was they took celery and they, they, uh, they concentrated it into a product called cultured celery powder. And they called it a flavor enhancer. And they do call it a flavor enhancer. So in other words, they're saying, hey, with the garlic and the, and, and the paprika, we're also going to put in some cultured uh, celery powder because we like the flavor of it. Okay. What also happens as a secondary thing is it cures the hot dog because there's enough curing agent in there to cure the hot dog. So what am I saying? I'm saying that it allows the hot dog manufacturer to call it uncured because they didn't put in nitrate a nitrate in as a separate ingredient and it allows them to say it's uncured because they put it in with the celery and here check this out because you're not allowed to normally call, you can't if you add nitrate to a product to a food product you can't call it organic ever this allows them to call a hot dog organic as well so you, that's when once they figured that out it's when you saw 
people like what we're going to talk about, uh, uh, Boar's Head, all their entire line is called uncured. Uh, uh, you'll see, um, you know, uh, Oscar Mayer, all uncured, bacons that are uncured. Okay? One way that you can tell that it's cured is the color. If it's uncured, it's going to be gray. But if it's cured, it's going to be red because that red color comes from the curing, the curing process, the cooking after the cooking, uh, the cooking after the curing process. All right, Whew, that was one breath. I did it, but it was all good. I got it all out. So you see, it's very controversial. The truth is, that they, it is cured, even though it says it's uncured, and it's not. Uh, and the, the, whether it's healthier or not, completely up for debate. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on because I've, I've spent way more time than I than I wanted to. Right here. Boar's head. We're going to do boar's head, natural casing. Look at them. Look how or look how crazy that looks. This is this I get in a um, deli by my house, like in the deli department of a grocery store by my house, um, and it's actually pretty accessible. This one for me. It may not be for a lot of other people. This is um, kind of a somewhat of a go-to uh, natural casing hot dog that I that I grab. So. Um, and what's interesting is when you take it out, they're all attached to each other through the casing. It's got a lamb casing on there, and um, let's give it a shot. All right, we have completed our cooking process, which, by the way, I had a comment. Uh, I got a comment uh, on the last episode just mentioning the cooking process and that how some hot dogs are better grilled than boiled and that... Um, I agree with that. I agree with that. And I just want to mention that all of the hot dogs are, I'm cooking in the same method, which is I'm trying to emulate, and I'll show it to you one day, I'm trying to emulate a, um, a grill top, which I think does well with both styles of hot dogs, uh, one with a casing and one without a casing. All right, so here we go. If you look at this thing, this thing looks different than the other hot dogs we've tried because the, uh, the natural casing creates a kind of smaller gauged hot dog here. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's much more hot dog shaped, kind of, the way that I classically think of a hot dog. Um, all right, Boar's Head Hot Dog, circa 1905, Brooklyn is when I think that they started, something like that. I think it's 1905, 1910. They started in Brooklyn, a butcher shop. You know, everyone kind of knows Boar's Head. I think they're kind of global, or nationwide at least. So uh, let's try let's try this hot dog here. All right, here I go. Going in, going in. It has a snap. Just gonna say, as the snap that you want in a hot dog, it's it's missing from other types of hot dogs that don't have a natural casing. That snap is fantastic. High levels of paprika. I'm telling you this right now. The uncured version, I can taste. But there's a difference between the uncured version and the cured version. I can't touch on that. It's probably the celery flavor. I don't really taste it that much. I taste more though. I think it's more in the background. Um, Good classic flavor, garlic, but mostly paprika that I'm, that I'm tasting. Um, it's good. It's a really good hot dog. It's a really good hot dog. I would totally buy this over a lot of other, other dogs. And the snap just is insane. I encourage everyone to go out with, and get a hot dog that has some kind of snap and try it and compare it. And you will see that it's, like, it's the experience that you want. When you go... You pick up a hot dog at a cart, I don't know, in Manhattan or Chicago, you're going to get that snap. If you get that snap and then you're outside, the best experience you can possibly have. <sighs> Three, six. Three, six for this hot dog. Good flavor. Good flavor. Great snap. Um, that's it. I would, I would totally pick this up anytime. All right. I've gone on too long. I hope you guys are all awake. Until next time, see ya.
me eating hot dog.